Okay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to ask you to look at this picture. They seem a happy couple to me, and they actually are. They have two, three, two children, a large house, good jobs. I found this story on the internet. And yes, they are very, very happy. But this day, this exact day, wasn't that happy. On their wedding day, the groom, this guy, fainted. His liver, one of his organs, was ruined. Luckily, just a couple of days after, he found a donor, someone to give uh, a liver to him. So, on the next wedding day, the cake, the wedding cake, was like this. Well, this is in Portuguese, but it was written, donate your organs. What I'm trying to show you is that none of this would have happened if this, guy's, this guy had not received a new liver. During his wedding speech, he said, you always donate what doesn't fit you anymore. Your clothes, your blankets, your old furniture. Do the same with your organs. And it really touched me. Keep in mind that after we die, our organs have no function to us anymore. It doesn't matter if you are buried or cremated. The organs of one single person can save up to eight lives. A research study was done asking why people wouldn't donate their organs. And three answers were found. Oops, I forget to show this. Recycle <laughs> it yourself. Yeah, that's good. Well, uh, the first reason was some people were afraid that their bodies would be totally di dissected. dissected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they wouldn't feel comfortable going into the coffin after death. You know, no one would, would like to be buried looking like this. This kind of insecurity happens because of lack of information. They are clueless about the whole process of how it happens. The surgery is long, not that long, and it, op uh, it, it only opens your belly. It's not very big, so your body doesn't change that much. It's not like this. After taking the organs, they sew it, and one can barely say the body has no organs anymore. So you basically look like the same. The second reason is because of religion. I mean, how come in the 21st century we still believe in a religion that doesn't support birth controls, homosexuality, and also doesn't support organ donation? Isn't this a bit old-fashioned? I mean, we're the 21st century. I understand their beliefs, and I really respect religion, but people must be reasonable. Religion talks about helping the next person. Isn't what organ donation is about? Helping other people? One person saving up to eight people? And the third reason, main reason, was afraid of conspiracy. They think that if they become an organ donor, they will be hunted for some kind of illegal black market. There is a movie about that. I understand their fear, but a study was done proving that the majority of organ donors' deaths come from natural causes, and not homicides, and not hunting, and not anything like this. This fear must be broken in order to help others. To finish my speech, I would like to do two activities. The first one would be show a commercial, a very good commercial called Organ Donation.
your organs, a part of you stays alive. So I love this commercial because it gives the idea that when you donate your organs, you are still a monk who you love. And I think that's the feeling you must have. And just to finish my presentation, I would like to read a text from a 13 years old girl, a Brazilian old girl, he made, she made it. And I think it's probably the youngest child to talk about, so seriously about this topic. It's not something usually younger children care about. Okay, so, when I die, I want to stay among those I love. I will leave my sight to those who have never seen their beloved ones. I will leave my heart to those who can't feel the beating of emotion anymore. My kidneys to those who have had their dreams interrupted, but still want to pursue them. I will leave my lungs to the teenager who wants to yell I love you to the world one more time. My liver to those who don't have any hope at getting better. I will leave bones, skin, and every tissue of my body to the children who have never discovered what it is to live entirely. I leave to you my example. I leave to my family my wish to become a donor. And finally, I leave my, ma my life a message. We won. Well, I hope you like it. Thank you. Yay!